So welcome to We Figure This Out. In this little series of videos, we're going to talk about things we sell in a store that we may not know a lot about and you may not know a lot about. So together, we're going to figure it out through research and trial and error. Hi, in this installment of We Figure It Out, we're going to talk about the new Atlas trackside lighting kits. They come in HO scale and N scale in our store. They also made an O scale, which would be roughly 1 to 48 scale, but we don't stock those. We can get them on demand. Why would we do that, you say? Well, 148 is a popular aircraft modeling scale, and 143rd cars and 148th armor are very popular subjects as well for modelers. So if you want to make a diorama with working lights, we got you covered. This would work in 1 144 scale because it's 1 to 1 60th. This is 187, so it would be approximately 172 scale to 1 100 scale, depending on what you're doing. And of course, the old scale, as I mentioned, could be done as well. So as you can see, these are really nicely packaged. The price point is excellent. They had a previous light system, which for a single light stand was about $26 Canadian when it introduced. This, you get three lights for 22 and change. So money-wise, is a far better value. So we open up the package. It's nicely clamshelled. You can see right in. Your three lights are nicely displayed in this uh, blister that fits inside the other blister, of course. You get the three light stands, and you get three appropriate resistors. Now, as anybody that works with LEDs knows, you can't just pump the voltage into it. If you do, you're going to burn out your bulbs. So these resistors play a crucial part in the wiring of these lights. Now, on an LED, you have two prongs, typically. The longer one is your positive. That's the one you would, yeah, you would put your positive wire to. They are, they are sensitive to direction. So the positive goes on the long lead, and the negative is the short lead. These are already wired in red and white, so the red would be your positive. So in doing this, we put the, the resistor, we've just looped it on to the red or positive side. So when we test this on our train pack, we're going to show you what happens at different voltages. We have a Tech 2 train pack. We have it hooked up to a voltmeter so we can tell you how much voltage we're pumping into it. And then we're going to see what happens as we put various voltages into it. So does the lighting go up or down with voltage? Does it stay the same? We're going to figure it out. Okay, so here's our demonstration setup. We've got our power pack, our leads. This is our positive, the red. We have it hooked up to a voltmeter, which isn't in the shot. Oh, yes, it is. There it is. Sorry. We're going to have this thing sort of upside down. Okay, so we're going to put our voltage up to 6 volts. Okay, we're not going to get it right on, but close enough. There we go. Six volts. Positive wire resistor goes to the red. Negative wire goes to the negative. Can you hold that off for me, my assistant? There we go. And you see it lighten up. There we go. We have constant light now. All right, six volts it is. We put it up to 12. There we are. A little over 12, that's fine. Hook it up. I'd say that's about the same intensity of light, wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. All right, now we're going to crank it all the way up to 18. Again, no difference in brightness. So this resistor is sufficient to bring the voltage down from a range, as we showed, from 6 to 18 volts, keeping the same brightness on the lantern. So they get three resistors with the three lights. So when you're running your wires out from your power pack, you can wire these up individually. Or if you like to wire a strip, you put your, your voltage into the strip, you take your lights off the strip and you put one of these resistors in line with each one or if you wire them together I believe you can put this in string of the first light and then you wire the lights together and this will sufficiently cut down okay 
So all in all, it's a great little product. It's a great project. You drill this hole here to mount it into your table. You got sufficiently long wires to get under your train table or your diorama base. You got your three resistors. You'd be soldering them instead of holding them in place like we did. And it looks like a good system. Now, we use the variable side of our power pack to demonstrate the various voltages. You could put it on the constant side or the accessory side and constantly pump out 14, 16 volts through. That'll do it for you. So that's it. Favorable review. Good price. Easy to use. Pretty much ready to run with a little work. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next. Thank you.